store tour live here we go through the store check out all the amazing sets and products we have for sale and answer questions on what we have in stock so if you have any questions let us know we got brad p he's back after missing two days welcome back brad p we've missed you uh we got slate hello slate what's up not too much we're starting the live stream it's gonna be great got corvette hello hello corvette good to see you guys madeline swoop what's up madeline's excited today that's awesome and we're excited to start the live stream here i'm just gonna start wandering around but if anyone has any questions let me know we will answer those as quickly as possible if you haven't already go ahead and hit that like button and don't forget to comment and let us know what you're looking for or what you're thinking got any uh hot takes on some favorite properties like marvel like for example what's the best hulkbuster there was a few rumors about a new hulkbuster i don't know if those were substantiated or not but nonetheless we've got this new one here he's 120 he just looks like he's about to pound something like the wall a city you know a nation state you know pretty amazing a speed champs mustang it can already be built oh we'll look for a speed champions mustang Tell Joe thanks for the card. I'll let him know, Corvette, for sure. Built Simpsons house. We should have one of those. There's a built Mustang right above the figures. Oh, it's $59.99. That seems kind of high priced. I think it's an early series Mustang. There's another one here. Same price, but it has instructions. Right there. And there's the GT the Ford Bronco electric but I don't see any other Mustangs I'm not sure if they made another Mustang though oh, 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 oh here we go a cheaper green Mustang up there it's $29.99 has the racing decals and stickers it's pretty cool oh hi Mark sorry last time oh no you can say oh hi Mark as much as you want I never get tired of it I love that D Holden thank thank you for joining us today let's go check out uh built Simpsons house for Slate really quick. Slate Amos asking about a Simpsons house. Looks like we got at least two options available. Over by the doorway we've got this one right here. No figs, new sticker sheet. That one's 300. Then we got this one over here that has most of the figs. That one is 400. There's Morgan. Hello, hello. There's Grumpy J. Grumpy J's in the house, guys. The gang's all here. Oh, now YouTube tells me you're on. Oh, sorry about that, Zion. Thanks for joining us. We haven't looked at Bionicle yet, so we'll uh, we'll be over there soon. There's a couple Simpsons houses. We have some Mustang options available. I don't think any of those are online because they're all built. So the built sets generally don't get put online right away. Unless they're very special. Like this haunted house here. Slate, so thanks. You're welcome, Slate. That's a good question. We've got a grand piano and the International Space Station here. Hi, Mark. Like your videos this morning. Oh, yes. Thanks for watching, Chris. We sure appreciate it. We uh, are excited to see Angie's project unfold throughout the coming weeks. There's Scott. Hello, Scott. Do you have the sealed Ultimate Lightsaber Duel? I think that one's sold. It sold over the last live stream. It would be right up there, but there's a Lego City Hospital in his place. Sorry, Madeline. There's Scott Robinson's here. Drooling for that haunted house. Me too. That's one that I don't have. And it's beautiful because it's got that olive green. It's really cool. That one's $220. That's actually a pretty good deal. I think it's like $250 or maybe $200 retail. I think it's $250. I'll have to look it up. All I know is that sounds like a good deal to my head because I really want that set. Howdy, Grumpy J. Brad P., what happened to our weather? LOL. <laughs> I'm guessing weather is not so pretty down south. The dropping elevator in the haunted house is such a cool mechanism. Yes. I haven't played with the mechanisms, but I have seen a lot of the adventurer's themes details. And uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, definitely tune into Friday's video. Uh, that'll be really cool. Also, there's me. Hey, check out the drip. Next nights. Don't say anything, Grumpy. I know what you're thinking. Alrighty, let's see. Do Bionicle next, please. I was about to actually head over there because 
Uh, I know how much you like Bionicles, Ion Cinema. We'll check it out. Looks like some of the Galador sets have moved. But we still have a couple of Bionicles. Love the Paraka guys. I was actually explaining the Paraka guys to Joe and Jacob earlier. They didn't really recognize them. They didn't know they have an amazing rap song, which you can Google the Paraka rap. It's a it's a banger, isn't it? Yep, yeah, that guy's not in his head. It is. <laughs> yep. Check out the Paraka rap if you haven't already. Great Lego content back in the day. But we got quite a few nice bionicles here. Some of the underwater, some of the earlier ones, some of the vehicles. That's a hero effect. No, oh, that might be a bionicle one. I'm shocked you have that shirt on, says Corey. Yes, yes, it's a, it's a, it's a style. I'm trying to get a little more uh, pizzazz, you know. Um, you got me before I said anything, Mark. <laughs> yep, I knew what you were thinking, Grumpy. I knew what you were thinking. Let's see here. Uh, do you have the 2019 droid gunship? We'll look for that in a second, uh, D. Holden. Good question. Got to quickly scan through the rest of Bionicle. Oh, there's a Galador back there. There's a few left. Um, let's see. The first episode of Auntie's Winter Village, Mark, was super cool this morning. It was neat to hear you all talk through the planning process. Yes! That's what we're trying to capture, the, uh, the fun design um, and figuring out all the um, strategic problems involved with building a large layout with lots of stuff. She has a lot of stuff planned, so hopefully we can get it to work. We got some city stuff taking over the bottom of Bionicle. All right, so we were looking for a 2019 droid gunship. Let's go ask Joe. We might scan the built sets first. Pretty sure don't have don't have one in box yet. Looking stylish, Mark. Well, thank you, Scott. I thought so, too. It goes with my red and black uh, attire today, so... Let's see. Hey, Atlanta Brickco from Michigan. Well, that's awesome, Seth. Thank you for joining. Not really a big fan of Galador. Yeah, it's it's polarizing for sure. Let's see. Um, droid gunship. There's some droid tanks. Another droid tank. Another droid tank. Don't see the droid, a bunch of droid tanks back there. Let's see. No droid gunship as of yet. I'll check with Joe, but I think we're all out of droid gunships right now. Sorry about that, guys. All right, um, any new sealed Ninjago? Thanks, we should have one or two out for sure. We got some in our haul video earlier. Um, is that a cyber slam in the case? Um, I'm not sure. Cyber Slam, Cyber Slam. There might be one hiding in there. I'm not sure exactly what site we're referring to with Cyber Slam. Because um, there's a couple different things which come to mind when that is said. But it's not striking a particular chord. Sorry, guys. If you have any more details on that, David, let me know. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. So, this one. One new one that we got in recently. It's the... Battle for Ninjago City with the Overlord included. That one is new sealed and it's $300. So incredible. Um, I think they made a legacy set like it, but this is the original, has all the original ninjas, new sealed mint box. So that's really cool. Um, this is new, I believe. Maybe. Well, it's a new set. I don't know if it's new to the inventory. We might have had that one before, too. I've got the Fang Paratruck Ambush. You've got uh, the Ronin REX. So, I thought we had one more. This one looks kind of new, too. Newish, so that's not brand new. It's got one bag open. A couple uh, Ninjago selections here that are pretty awesome. And some that are. A little less awesome, but still Ninjago. So, um, let's see. Um, you lost a bet? <laughs> no, I just found this, and I knew that I had to I had to spice up the wardrobe for uh, the live stream for sure. Geology Joe, hello, hello. Thank you for joining us. We sure appreciate it. Um, let's see. Uh, we got uh, Arcane. Thanks for joining, Arcane. We sure appreciate it. Hi guys, we're doing good. T Valkyrie, any new seal Ninjago? We just looked at that. Um, still want the Rock Raiders shirt. Oh, right. We need to add those on the website. I'm sorry. We'll get those on there soon, uh, Geology Joe. I know we still have the Power Miners one on, which has a lot of the cool crystals and rock monsters available. So definitely look up that one. 
would like to see Joe. We'll, we'll head over there. We'll check out Joe. It's the next request on the list. So how about that Jack Stone? Oh no, Grumpy J. What are you wearing? You're gonna make me, what, what, what am I wearing, John? What are you wearing? I'm wearing the new drip. It's, it's see? Sick, it's amazing. Let me see I if I can jump through. Are you sure you're Mark? Are you not Steven? You're wearing Nexonites. It's just, did you flip it? Yeah. yeah. Does it work? Oh. I look pretty good. Here, let me give them a... No, no, I, 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 let him, let oh, you want it? Okay. Let the viewers see. People want to see you. They're asking for you. Oh, so. well, they can see me, too. Look at that. Now, give us a little twirl, Mark. <laughs> oh, look at that. So majestic. All right. Rocking Give it. me that back. I feel uncomfortable without my tablet. Now they can look at me. Did now they, they look at you. Did they see what was under the... Oh, oh. Next <laughs> the next night suit you, Mark. Oh, my goodness. It was in the Galler case, top left, I think. Can we get the door for you, ben? Thanks for looking. It's a Technic theme called Cyber Slam. I'll check it out. Can we get the door, Hey, ben? get out of here, Ben. Don't mess with the hair. All right. I'll give you a door. Okay, thanks. Okay, Simpsons minifigs, we've got those. Oh, yeah, there's Joe Arcane, just FYI. He's doing good, he's busy. Simpsons minifigs, and we'll look for the Cyber Slam, since we got more directions on that. Thank you, David. And Slate is looking for Simpsons minifigs. We've got those, too. At least some of them, not all of them. You guys need to restock on Bionicle. Yes, yes we do. Definitely do. We're uh, we're short on Bionicle. Cyber Slam. Yes, yes, that's it. The dueling purple versus teal Cyber Slam set. Very cool. That one is new for $69.99. That is a steal, honestly, for a new sealed set. The box is a little beat up. You got some significant shelf wear, but the, uh, the set itself is sealed. So very cool. All right, now Simpsons minifigures. Um, how much is a space shuttle in the front of the store? It's pretty expensive, but we'll we'll check on it. I think it's a couple hundred dollars. Um, next night suits you, Mark. Yes, it does, Grumpy J. I think I look majestic. All right. Uh, <laughs> J. Ali is saying, ha ha. Thanks, Joe, for the card. Oh, I forgot to thank him in person for you, Corvette. I'll do that next time we get over there. Um, we've got Simpsons right down here. With all the major characters. The top few rows. They're all on our website on the atlbrick.com. There's a link in the description if you'd like to click that. Um, after the video, of course, we want you to watch the live stream. But um, yeah, did you spend, when did you spend your shop to Boston? I see a Boston Brick Co. Oh, no, we we, uh, we don't have any um, official branches of Atlanta Brick Co, but I can see why they would uh, follow in the footsteps of greatness. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, Kane, that's, uh, that's interesting. Boston Brick Co, hope they do well. Love to see those independent Lego stores. It might be a while before they're as big as us, but, uh, you know, they can dream. So. Ahoy, ahoy, Brick Jedi. Thank you for joining us. We sure appreciate it. We got Craig. Hello, hello, Craig. How much are Slimer and Puff Marshmallow Man? Oh, let me go back and look at those. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yes. You're welcome, Slate. Hello. A little late to the party as usual. Had a new show to catch up with. Oh, yes. Thanks for joining Tarkor. We sure appreciate it. Let's see. Um, Craig was looking for Slimer and Puffman. So the Slimer is, there's two different versions. One is $19.99. The, the one on the right, this darker green is $19.99. The one on the left is $39.99, which is fairly expensive, but he's a very cool character. Um, and the Stay Puff minifigure is $29.99. So all in the 20s, 30s, and 40s for those cool characters. But we have a lot of Ghostbusters, more than usual, so good time to buy them. Um, let's see. Mark, Brad, P, and I would like to run your Orlando store. Oh, that would be wonderful. Um, I I don't know. It's, it's hard to uh, franchise things without... Um, I want to be careful with how I say this, but we don't like to do some of the ethical practices of franchising. Um, we think it kind of takes advantage of the people starting the stores. So we're, we're always very, we haven't expanded for that reason. And, uh, you know, I think one day it's possible, but we definitely um, want to support all of our small businesses and new small independent Lego stores that are starting up. We want to shout them out and definitely check them out if they're in your area, for sure. Go purchase some Lego from them. They'll love it. Um, built modulars. We'll check it out. Thanks for joining, Lemur Bricks. Cool, thanks, Mark, says Craig. You're welcome, Craig. Have you inspected the Bionicles yet? Yes, we just looked at them pretty thoroughly. Found a, a few cool things. However, they are a little light right now. We need to get some Bionicle stuff built. Mark, it's called capitalism. Yes, 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 I know. 
We're trying to be uh, very ethical with our capitalism, though. See, that State Puff Marshal Manan is great. Yes, he is. Monterey Brick Co. There you go. There you go, Geology Joe. It's possible. All right, and we were looking for... Your live streams are the best. Oh, thanks, Slate. That makes me feel good. I appreciate it. Um, let's see. What was the other question? Uh... There's something I was looking for. Where, who, was, who was asking about something? Space shuttle. That's what I was looking at. Okay, there you go. Space shuttle. Oh, oh, oh that one's not as expensive. The older one is. Oh, no, that, that one's more expensive. Let's go look at it. Excuse me, guys. That's the Get the Look out, look out. Sorry, Mark. So the old space shuttle is here. That one's certified complete for 450 It's very cool. That one's the upright, ready to launch version. And, honestly, it's easy to launch. and it's much older than the new version up here. This one appears to be new sealed. Let me check the price for you guys real quick. So $200, and that sounds like retail, but I'm not 100% sure. So new sealed for 200 Beautiful build. I've seen it built a few times. It's gorgeous. So very nice. And uh, not too much new up here. I do like that ghost a lot, though. That's pretty cool. We got the Land Rover, the legendary Flower Fruit Mountain from Monkey Kid. You got the Sanctum Sanctorum. Very cool. Very popular since Doctor Strange is coming out not too far away. A couple nice sets up there. Scoop by everybody here. Um, Let's see, any new t-shirts as Brick, Brick Jedi? We have a couple that we're working on. They aren't um, in physical form in the store right now. I know Daniel has a prototype at home. I have a few prototypes at home. We're talking Exa Force, Adventurers, some other very overlooked themes in Lego. So we'll be bringing out more awesome t-shirts soon. I think we're actually a little bit light on the ones we have printed in the store right now. We've always got some cool ones though. There's the employee Stranger Things shirt. Got some Ninjago stuff, some other prints, logos, all sorts of stuff. We do have all of our designs that we have right now listed on what, online, so Atlanta Brick Co, atlbrick.com. It is pretty easy to find. All right. Been to the Bricks and Mavic store just outside of Tampa. I guess that's a franchise because they're all over the country, yes. Bricks and Mavic is a franchise, and a lot of the stores that are um, run by them are awesome. I'm not necessarily a fan of the, uh, the corporate bricks and meat big side of things. So, all right. Um, howdy fellas. Nexus to Zach. So glad you're here. Um, just went to the bricks and meat big store in Phoenix. I've heard that one's pretty good. Geology dough. Very cool. Does the store have any plans to do more exclusive custom kits? Even going through Kickstarter again, all those baby kits are awesome. With the popularity you have now, definitely get funded. We could try that. It's a good uh, suggestion, D Holden. We'll see what we can do. I know we do have more kits on the way. More designs are already done. So it's just a matter of ordering the pieces, doing the designs, instructions, and uh, getting them done. So hopefully soon. <laughs> Brad P, I went once as soon as I got into Lego, but I feel I can get better service and interaction with ABC. Oh, yeah, that's Grumpy J for us. Number one fan right there. All right. Just got my Rancor figure in the mail. Thanks for sending that to me. You're welcome, Nexus. That's a wonderful purchase. That's an awesome, awesome, awesome thing to buy. Sorry, I'm going through the comments, guys. We'll, we'll scan around the store again in a second. Um, Lord of the Rings, Hobbit sets, uh, Hobbit shirts in the works. That's a good question, Craig. That w We haven't done anything yet, but we totally could, as, as long as we're careful with copyright. Stranger Things season four trailer came out today. Oh my goodness, I haven't seen that. I'll have to watch that after the stream is done. Do you have a built Tantive for Rebel Blockade Runner? And if so, we can see how much. Thanks. We have the old version. We'll go look at that in a moment. They opened one in Johns Creek. Yes, that's on the north side of Atlanta. It's worth checking out, I'm sure. Lemur Bricks, do you show built modulars? Not yet. We'll check it out in a moment, Lemur Bricks. Uh, we don't have a lot in stock yet. All right, so the price of this uh, Django Fett Slave 1 is $799.99, so $800. But... It's in amazing condition, has the box and the black carrying case that came with it. This would have been kind of a limited edition version of this very, very rare set. So it's awesome. Yeah, yeah thank you, Joe. You want to turn it around for me? Look at that cool carrying case. The Star Wars exclusive carrying case, modeled by the lovely Joe. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> My 
hair flip. You get the hair flip with, with your hat on. Yeah, exactly. Well. But this yeah, is gorgeous. And online, skiing. of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So check it out on our website if you want yeah, to order it. Uh, I mean, that box is... That old Django Fett and the young Boba Fett are super rare now, too. Yeah. So yeah, you don't see them every day. Um, let's see. Goats. We've got goats. Let's look we at those. Goats. And then we'll check out built modulars. Should I even ask Cad Bane? Do we have any Cad Bane, Joe? Yeah, I know we have the, uh, the latest model, the yeah. second version. So we have the second version of Cad Bane minifigure. I'll Is that right? Check yeah. We have the other one. We'll check it out. We've got goats right there. The medium nougat spots, $149.99. We've got two of them. And they're kept in a bulletproof glass case. Actually, it's not bulletproof, but it's it looks like it is. And they're pretty awesome. They're on our website too. All of our animals are on our website. Definitely worth purchasing and getting the ones you need. I don't know if I would invest in goats right now though. Maybe they'll make some new ones. We'll see. Uh, Mama always said I was special. <laughs> You're very special, Grumpy J. We, we, we really appreciate you. Let's see. Love the vid for Angie's future winter village with John and you. Yes, thanks, Nexus. Thanks for watching that. Uh, sorry, John, not John. Yes, it's John with no H. And then, uh, do we have a Cad Bane, Joe? Where did... uh, we have the newer version, not the old one. Is he out? He's not. Okay. So we have the new version, and he will be out for sale soon. So worth checking Corvette, for sure. Oh, and I need to tell Joe thanks for the card. We'll get it to him. We'll let him know. Just scooped up the Cyber Slam set. Thank you so much for showing that. Hugely nostalgic. I remember just pining over this. It's the magazines. Appreciate you all at ABC. Oh, yes, David. I remember looking through those older 90s era catalogs and seeing those awesome battle machines. And me and my brother would just wish we had them. We never got them. We got the action figures. The Technic figures are really cool. But I uh, never got the sets. And that's a really cool one. And it's already gone, too. See that empty spot in the case? Gone. Awesome. They have their own goat pen. Yep, that's the pen for the goats. Prices for the built modulars. You're right, Lemur Bricks. Let's check them out real quick. Let's have a look see. I know we have one built modular over here, over our Duplo play area and elves. We've got the assembly square. That one is. $259.99. So $260. Pretty cool. Hey, there's Brick Virus. Thanks for joining us. Got Cosmic Glad 12 in the chat too. Let's see some phase one clones. Payday is this Friday. Absolutely. Um we also have a built home alone set. Okay. These don't have the So this is I think this kind of counts as a modular here. The built home alone set. Let me see the price on that. Let us see. Two thirty nine. So two forty for that one. Looks like it has the important characters, Marv and Harry. And that's about all we've got for built modulars right now, unfortunately. Diana's here. Hello, hello. Let me uh, mention that to Joe. Joe. Corvette 72 says, thank you for the card in his latest order. So, yeah, man. Absolutely. Got you. Joe's the best and the worst, but also the best. All right. Phase one clones or phase two clones? Phase one clones, yes. Everyone likes the phase two, but the phase ones are pretty cool, too. Reason learned that another Lego store called Boston Brickco is that an affiliate store. No, it is not, but I can see why they uh, picked that name. We're pretty awesome. So they're... they're uh, if they're even partially as cool as we are, they'll be pretty cool. Hope they do well. I'll have to check it out if I'm ever in the Boston area. I've never really been in downtown Boston, so. Um, let's see, let's check out phase ones. Got a couple on the bottoms here. We got the old school one on the left with the um, hole through the visor. I think that actually looks really cool looking back. Hindsight's 2020. Got some of the newer versions moving towards the right. All the way up to kind of the middle of the road Clone Wars version. I actually like that. It's very simplistic and cool. You've got uh, pilots and bombers. And we're, we've got a few gaps out here, but they're probably on our website. 
Um, definitely check out um, atlbrick.com and look up the uh, Star Wars minifigures. You can even search for Phase 1, and they should come up pretty quickly. So great request there, Cosmic Lad. We got plenty of Star Wars figures available. In fact, oh, here's a bunch of uh... <laughs> clone troopers. And it's important to note that the 5 for $79.99 is actually an in-store deal. I don't know what the price difference is between the other ones, but it's pretty cool. If you call the store, you might be able to get that deal. I don't know. You'd have to ask Joe. Comments are piling in, though, so let me see what I got. Questions? I have a whole box of Lego I want to train in. Trade in, I'm guessing. At least 20 sets with some sealed box, some no box. How long would it take to process that for store credit? And should I bring it to the store? Bringing it to the store would be the quickest for sure, but you could always send us a um, some information on our trade and uh, sell and trade form on our website. So if you go to the website and look at the menu, it should say buy and sell, or, or excuse me, sell and trade your Lego. And it gets back to you pretty quickly within a day or two. And that way you can get at least a ballpark of what you're uh, going to be expecting trading it or selling it here. Man, the next night arch would look good for an entrance to the man cave. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Uh, you know, Nexus Knights looks good some places, but not all. I mean, the sets are still pretty much garbage, but uh, there's some things to appreciate about them. I mean, this outfit's pretty rad, just gotta say. Even if it says Nexus Knights on it, it's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Grumpy Jay always uh, trying to plug the Nexus Knights here. Let's see. Phase one Columbia looks sleeker in my opinion. Yes, they look kind of like a, a steering fin on the back. It's pretty cool. I thought Atlanta Brickco was a nickname for the Hawks. Just kidding. <laughs> yep, I don't know about I don't know about uh, Atlanta basketball. I'm not into it. What you looking for, John? Shopping? Oh, I'm just looking around. Just shopping? Okay. It, yeah. Okay. It won't bother you. Yes, I need quiet when I'm trying to figure out how <laughs> He to needs money. perfect silence when he's spending money. Okay, if you open more stores in different locations, they won't be called Atlanta Brick Co. That's correct. Yeah, that's that's how it works. Can we look at the polybag wall? Good question, Lima Bricks. We'll go look at that. There's Bricky Bobby. His uh, unwavering gaze guarding the door. All right, let's go look at uh, the polybag wall. And our TV says no internet connection, so I'm actually worried. Hopefully it doesn't cut out for our stream. There's the poly bag wall. You got some Batmobile and Tumblr poly bags. City, Creator, Harry Potter, Minions, more Creator, some Avengers and Jurassic World. A few superheroes, there's Captain America up there. More Creator, more City, Lego Movie 2. A Speed Champions one in the corner. City, City, Superheroes, Shang-Chi, Hidden Side, City, Duplo, and a little extra. Extra being extra down there. Good request. Let's see. Personally, love the Clone Wars run on Star Wars just because of the Phase 1 clones. In my personal opinion, they're cool in the Phase 2. That's interesting. I know that uh, a lot of people prefer Phase 2, but I actually like Phase 1 a little better myself, I think. I'd have to rewatch the Clone Wars again just to be sure. Joe's giving me the, the, the dagger eyes over there because I said that, but... I'm just staring at you. I don't know what you said. Oh, okay. No, Joe is, Joe is completely lost his marbles. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to cut this paper. Trying to cut the paper? He's trying to pack some stuff for people, so. All right. Have you ever considered opening an Atlanta Brick Co. north of Atlanta? We've thought about it for sure. Um, it's just hard because we don't want to split up our workforce. And uh, we're not sure how feasible it would be. we just not sure if we have enough managers for all that, so. Um, having the right employees is very important for, for our business, so we want to make sure if we were to expand, we do it, have to do it right and very carefully. Love the Angie video. Oh, yes, that uh, premiered this morning, so it's a very cool video. If you haven't seen it on our channel, check it out. It's a great chat about... Uh... Oh, that's really clean. Look how clean that shelf is. Okay, sorry. Um, great video about planning a big, awesome creation. Good afternoon, my first time joining you. I bought a lot of builds. Awesome, thanks for joining us, Cheryl. We sure appreciate it. Also, any loose bionicle masks? We've had them in the past, but we're pretty low on them right now. They uh, they sell pretty quickly. 
usually have little packs of them over here in the rare pieces. <laughs> right here. There's some McDonald's Bionicle figures for about two dollars or a dollar each. Some Ninjago spinners, but right here is where the masks would be and I'm not seeing them. There's a baby mech and I don't think he's supposed to be there. He's supposed to be over here. Putting the baby mech here where it belongs with the other exclusive kits. All right, got a bunch of comments. Let me see if I can get through. Hobbit, Lord of the Rings. We'll look at that in a second. Lemur Bricks, great request. Gotta respect the classics, man. Oh yeah. I Spy the Crocodile Locomotive. We have that one too. Can we look at the marble figures? What can you mean by marble figures, John? What are, what are marble figures? Marble figures? Marble figures? Marble? Yeah, maybe he meant marble. Maybe. It might have just been a spell. Bobby spelled still spelled. needs a hat. Yes, Bobby needs a hat. Good point, Corvette. I don't know what marble figures I need a Castle King and Queen. We better get the CMF ones, or do you have something in the case? We have a couple options for you, Morgan. I Ricky Bobby should have some built shades for that glare that comes to the door. Yes, he should. It's pretty bright through that doorway. Um, let's see if we have the Castle King and Queen. There's the Castle King. Very regal. Has many colors, so we could match pretty much any castle faction. I think we have the Castle Queen somewhere, too. There she is. Very cool. She's $14.99. The King is a little more at $21.99, so not necessarily super affordable, but still very cool. So, good afternoon. My first time joining. I bought a lot of bulk Lego and minifigs and working through them. I mostly focus on Star Wars and have a question about clone trooper helmets. You're welcome to ask it here, or you can call too. Whatever you'd like to do, Cheryl. Um, let's see. Get this man a hat. Oh yes, Bricky Bobby. We'll get him a hat one day. In fact, we'll probably build him a hat one day. Um, let's look at, uh, we got a few Castle Kings left in stock here. We're gonna be reorganizing all the castle figures very soon, as soon as Daniel gets around to it. So there's gonna be changes here. We had a lot of uh, queens and princesses up on that row above the foresters. There's still a few left for sale, like that one's pretty cool. And there's also a crown king here. He's $39.99, so a little more collectible. That gold knight is epic though, that one there. Whew. Super cool, super rare. But there's a couple options. The castle figures aren't online yet. They're not online yet, I should say. And um, the CMF ones are. So if you want it sooner rather than later, CMF is better. But if you want a uh, more specific look, wait until we've got those online and then we'll be able to help you. Y'all's entire staff is the best. The number one reason of y'all's successful business. Thanks, Craig. We sure appreciate it. Look at that. Yeah, celebrate, Joe. What is a good way to tell the helmets apart? Hmm, I know that you can look up specific helmets on BrickLink and see pictures there. Is that a good way to identify helmets, Joe? Yeah. Yeah. I just helmet and scroll through it. Type yeah, so uh, Star Wars, Lego Star Wars helmets, you can find them on Google usually. So we, we recommend yeah. the internet. There's a, several um, databases and directories online. BrickLink is one of our favorites. And uh, that's a good way to try and figure out how it is. Sometimes it's tricky though. Uh, sometimes if you can find someone, a friend of yours, that knows a bit about Star Wars, it can also help. Because I don't know a ton about Star Wars. I know a pretty good amount. But I'll often be asking Joe or someone else who has a little bit more knowledge of it, and it's good to have some help. Do you still have the custom base plates that are football field and baseball pitches? And they have team logos on them? We should have a handful left. But we pretty much stopped buying from that brand. So... Because it's non-Lego, so we don't want to carry too much of it. So. Excuse me, guys. We've got a small stack of them back here. Got a couple different themes. You got the Rays. Looks like the San Francisco. Astros. Rays. Pittsburgh, am I right? Or Phillies. Um, Marlins. A lot of Astros. Looks like, is it the Cubs? Oh, twins! Twins! Colors is getting thrown up. Here's a C. Joe would know this more than I would, but we have a couple teams. Baseball teams! What baseball teams we have in the custom base place? There's NFL. Well, you've got the Astros. And Astros. That's oh. football. Let's go this way. We've got the Rays. we got the Giants. we got more Astros. we got the Rays. we got the Pirates. we got Miami. we got Oakland A's. 
got the Twins. We got Cleveland. Cleveland, okay. That's the There's one I was curious Guardians about. Guardians now, not Indians anymore. Uh, Guardians. Cleveland no. Guardians. Oh, wait, who's asking? Uh, Madeline. Oh, well, Craig, I know, is a Rangers fan. Mm. We got the Rangers. Craig is the in the Red chat. He probably, yeah, oh, yeah, he just has no Texas Rangers. We no, got him. We got one, man. Eleven ninety nine. It's a pretty good deal. It's not Lego. We got to warn everyone. It's not Lego, but they are cool. And Geology Joe says, go San Francisco Giants. Well, we got no Mets. We're probably out of Mets. No Mets. Yeah. No Braves either. Because we're no leaving. Braves. Um, no um, Yankees. A couple other teams. But... So we've got some, not all. Exactly. Some, not all. There you go. Thank you, Joe. See, you ask a friend who knows more about it, you can get a lot of help. What era of Castle is most popular? That's a good question. I'd say it's kind of a tie between the 2007 Fantasy Era Crownies and the 2011 um, Kingdoms Lion Knights and Kingdoms Dragon Knights are, are really, really popular right through that era. Very expensive, so good question. Bricklink and Brickset are your best way to go, Cheryl. Um, you can search clone troopers and scroll through a list of them with photos to compare. Yes. Great advice built by Matt. Thank you. Thanks for joining us, too. We appreciate it. Uh, Lego should make a Robin Hood men in tights set. Oh, <laughs> I wish they would. They need to make more Forester slash Robin Hood figures. I'm going to go just glance at those while we're talking about them. But, uh, yes, the blue and lines are killing me. I love all. Exactly. Hey, Mark, do y'all have the Lord of the Rings booster uh, poster in the back? Um, I'll check. See you, Mark. See you, John. Take care. Very nice. Thanks. This is Madeline, of course. Thank you, Matt, says Cheryl. No Texas Rangers, no Mets. Go Giants. What, no Dodgers? Um, yeah, I don't think we had the Dodgers over there either. I'll take it, says Craig. Okay, um, I'll tell Joe to grab it. They're both busy, but once they're free, I'll tell them to go... Set that aside for you, Craig. Hello. All right, Cactus. Identify any Lego figure parts using the Google app with the camera functions. Very helpful and accurate. Oh, cool. That's fun. I didn't know that, Cactus. Good, uh, good pointing out. Jerry Houston says Kingdom, like Kingdoms Knights. That would make sense. Um, let's go look at Lord of the Rings because we had a couple of questions about those. So, about a poster, about um, sets earlier. I think someone was asking about those. So we're gonna go look at those. There was some talk of a poster. I don't know if we still have anything back here. We've got one Lord of the Rings set and a couple Hobbit sets. We go over them pretty much once a week. Got some Barrows Out of Bond, Mirkwood Elf. Some Wargs. I don't see any poster, though. We're also planning on a t-shirt or two. A couple t-shirts, probably. Um, but we want to be careful because both Lord of the Rings and Lego are very copyrighted, so we gotta find that middle balance somehow. Um, let's see. Did you hear that the $470 Hogwarts Express and Train Station rumor for later this year? Do you enjoy trains? I love trains. I've never gotten into them much, unfortunately, but uh, that sounds like an amazing set. I think that Lego, both Lego Harry Potter and Lego trains are never a bad idea and probably a fantastic, um combination if you know what i'm talking about um i'm disappointed that it's not green guts oh that's true could be green guts for those of you who have just joined check out the awesome nixo knight armor i'm wearing makes me extra cool while doing the live stream or hobbit yeah lord of the rings and hobbit would be nice though and three seconds later he forgot uh oh what was i what was i looking for what is grumpy getting me on Oh, yeah, yeah, We were going to look at the Foresters. Grumpy getting me. Let's see, Can't wait for the new Harry Potter set. $500 already set aside. Yeah, it's probably good if you're looking forward to these big sets to set aside some cash. Otherwise, it could be very expensive. Kind of mess with the budget. You got to budget this stuff out, you know. Some cool Forester Men in Tights type characters here. Vintage Ninja. You are in luck, John. Daniel is a savant when it comes to nin uh, Vintage Ninja and has a lot of it organized down here. They're all on our website now, too. So definitely look up that theme, especially in, in as regards to minifigures. And uh, it's pretty awesome. All right. Oh, History Customs was asking, what's the price of the Mirkwood Elf one? We can check that for you. Hold on one second. Batman figs, please. Looking for disco Joker torso and tail parts? We'll check for you, Joe. Hold on one second. At the front. 
says Will Lamb. Oh, we can look. Let's see here. Hey, Mark, do you have the Lord of the Rings poster in the back? Oh, in the front. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Thank you, Will. That's what I was thinking about posters. Let's see here. Someone was asking. Mirkwood Elf. That one is... Woo! Whopping $200 for a new sealed Mirkwood Elf Army. The box is pretty much mint. So, yes. Very collectible and expensive, unfortunately. But very cool. Going to sell my Lord of the Rings Mines of Moria set to you soon. So be looking forward to that. That will definitely make it onto the hall and probably onto the live stream if nobody gets it right away, Zach. That's awesome. Definitely worth trading in those cool sets. Let's go look and ask um, for Will Lamb about a Lord of the Rings poster. See if we got anything for you here. Insert evil laugh. Oh, Grumpy Jay. Always getting my goat. My imaginary goat. I don't actually own a Lego goat. Joe, do we know anything about a Lord of the Rings poster? I have one. Will Lamb was asking if there were any up in the back or at the, right, at the front. Or... Nice one at home, you can oh. You gotta get a picture on your phone so you can show it to the chat one day. Actually, I might. But we don't have any of that available yet, one. right? Oh, yeah. And I don't know if we have... Let me see if I have a picture. Dude, it's, it's bad quality. Bad quality it's, picture? It's in the background. It's in the background? The light is on it, but it's a Hobbit poster. That's very cool. And I'm sure it looks better without the glare. So, yeah, yeah, the glare is just bad. Very cool. Like... So, Joe has a poster, but we don't have any posters available yet. We do have a stack of posters in the back. I don't remember seeing a Lord of the Rings one, but there could have been one in there. So, not 100% sure on that for you, Will Lamb. Good question, though. Grumpy Jay is a savage at times. Grumpy Jay is always a grumpy savage. You never know a Grumpy Jay. Oh, I want to point these guys out. We've got some of these really cool dinosaur sets from 2001. Some of my first childhood sets. Very, very cool. They're not really the most beautiful dinosaurs, but that's the only way you can get a Lego Mosasaurus and a Lego Brachiosaurus. So very cool. Also got some cool Christmas and seasonal and promotional sets here. Some Toys R Us. The Forma set back there, that is just gorgeous. They were doing something really cool with Forma, and I don't know, for some reason, it really never got around to the United States. And uh, we've not had that uh, privilege here, so. Do you have any, did you set my posters aside? I believe so. If you were in contact with one of our employees and they uh, said they would, I'm guessing that's the case, but I would check back with them if you're, you're worried about it, but I think they would have taken care of it for you. I'm not 100% sure, Deanna, or Diana. Are you going to have any building kits with goats like the sheep kits you have. Actually, we have both goats and sheep available. Here it is. This is the goat building kit. It's the same size and scale and price as the sheep building kit, $9.99, I believe so. Let's see if it's a sheep kit, Let's see if it's the same price. Yep, same price as sheep, goats and sheep, available for cheap. And those are on atlbrick.com as well as in our store. It comes with three per box. So for $9.99, you get three little brick-built animals. Very cool. It was me. Oh, I'll have to check on that, Diana. I'm sorry. Let, feel free to send us an email or um, get in touch with us as on the side as well. It, from, for some reason, it's not ringing a bell right now, but I'll double check on that for you. Did you restock your speed champions? Yes. In fact, um, Vogan moved them. Good question, Nexus. We're going to go look at those really quick. Um, Brad P. was asking about those earlier today. We'll go look at them really quick. They have the beautiful backlight from the window. So you got the figures. You got the cars. You got the sets. All beautifully arrayed like a car collector's garage. Hey, Mark, can you please check if you have the Lego Movie 2 Emmett's Dreamhouse slash Rescue Rocket? Thank you. Well, check on that, Madeline. Good, good question. Yeah, we've got a bunch of Speed Champion sets. So if you're looking for any of those in particular, let us know. We do have quite a few of them, especially the built ones. Not all the boxed ones, but a lot of the built ones. What a peep. What are you talking about, Grumpy J? Who are you calling a peep? I'm a Nexonite night warrior, obviously. Let's see here. Madeline was asking about... Lego Movie 2. Aha! 
Emmett's Dream House slash Rescue Rocket. We got a certified complete one for 75. And the new sealed one, let's check the price on that real quick. So $100 for a new sealed one. And 75 for a used one. It's a pretty good deal. It's a pretty cool set too. It's amazing how uh, easily it transforms into that rocket ship. Uh, Brick Sergeant, hello Mark in Atlanta Brick Co. Thank you for joining us, we sure appreciate it. Say sold out online, uh oh. Let's see. Oh my goodness, yeah, so if the sheep and goat kits are sold out online, we'll have to add them back on, I'll tell Joe. Thanks for the tip, T-Valkyrie, we appreciate it. Do you have the Monster Fighters Ghost Train? I'm pretty sure we don't have the Ghost Train right now, but we did have the um, Vampire Castle. I'll check and make sure if that's still there. It might have sold already, though. So no Ghost Train. It would have been right up here. I just see a lot of space and the very cool Adventurer sets. But no Ghost Train. I think we're all out of that right now, um, D. Holden. Good question, though. Thank you. Excuse the guys. Thanks. I'm sorry, Sir Mark of Nexo. Yep, that's that's better, Grumpy J. Put some respect on it. I'm wearing Nexo Knights today. Okay. Not for you, but just because I wanted to. Alright. Hey, Joe. Both the goats and sheep kits are out of stock online. We do have some more over there. And probably more in storage. If you want to add a few more online, some people wanting to buy them. So. Thanks, Joe. He's got his mouth full of hey, food. Uh, so. oh. Special, thank you for letting us know that. And exactly. A special just for today only. If you order one online, we will ship it to you. Exactly, yeah. Today so, only. <laughs> if you order one today, we'll ship it to you. Exactly. Yeah. Sounds good. Yep. Yeah, it doesn't, isn't that right, John? That's correct. That's right. That's good. Awesome sauce. Thank you, this is Madeline. Are you sure you don't have the next night virus? No way. <laughs> I definitely don't have the next night virus. <laughs> yes, no way. Definitely not. He's a next night hater in disguise, Grumpy J. Flattery, flattery. Oh my goodness. Hi, Chris, says Nex Nexus. I'll tell him I said, tell, tell him you said hi, Nexus, for sure. There's Craig. What a deal. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. <laughs> yeah, that's that's Chris for you. He's hilarious. He's a hoot. He gives you the best deals of the century. He'll actually ship it to you. How about that? Ooh, look at this. The Rancor. Gotta show off that Rancor. He's expensive, too. He's 180. That's a collectible figure. I mean, he's more than the Wampa, which we also have a couple Wampas. Those horns are very uh, easy to lose. There we go. Let's see here. Well, we still got uh, about 13 minutes. Great deal right there. <laughs> it is indeed, Zach. Um, but yeah, we've still got 13, 12 minutes here. So if you have any questions about any themes or sets, let me know. Still got time for it. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that like button. It always helps out the channel. We sure appreciate it. And don't forget to comment and subscribe if you haven't done that already. Because we love to interact with you guys. And the algorithm loves it too. So you buy one, you can get the second one for the same price. Yeah, exactly. We won't even raise the prices on you. <laughs> I've ridden something 10 times bigger. Or really interesting. What is it, like elephants? Now I gotta know the story, Grumpy J. You can't just leave us hanging with a little thing like that. Did you say Rancor was 118? I think it was a little more than that, actually. I, I'll d double check on that for you, Cheryl. Hold on one second. Can we see the Marvel minifigs? Yes, and somebody was asking about Batman too, so I'm gonna go look at Batman really quick. We're gonna scan through the Batman figures. Batman slash DC. We've got all these online as well. If you're not seeing them, give us a call, send us an email, or even chat in the chat right now while we're doing the live stream. Yep, Joe, I was just remembering to do the, uh, the DC figures. I didn't forget. Well, I forgot, and then I remembered, so that's good. I was quoting Boba. All right. I've written something ten times bigger. <laughs> that's hilarious. I need to rewatch uh, Boba Fett season already, because I'm. it's already getting blurry on me, Grumpy J. Maybe I'm just too busy. And uh, let's check the Rancor price, then we'll check out Marvel minifigures. Thanks for the request, guys. Sure, appreciate it. The Lego storage. Let's see. Uh, rank. Oh, here he is. I missed him. One seventy nine ninety nine for the Rancor. One eighty. 
not 118 180 so very expensive very cool and that's a new mint one sometimes they're a little beat up if they're more used the price goes down a bit so can we see marvel minifigs let's go look at that did you already check to see if you have gizmo and stripe from gremlins missed it if you did i didn't check that so we'll look at that in a moment i'm pretty sure we usually have some gremlin figures we'll make sure new there's the cool new black panther with the cloak very cool he has a cool print too very subtle but very cool all right we've got all the major heroes and characters here some of them we sold out a little bit like uh, captain america and iron man and pretty much all the spider-men so we do have more online we've got a couple deals in the front here like slightly used racks and use scorpions at a little bit more discounted rates. There we go. But yeah, quite a few cool Marvel figures. Definitely worth checking out on atlbrick.com and looking under minifigures for Marvel figures. Um, I asked because I accidentally bought two sets two years ago for $35 each. That doesn't sound like an accident. That sounds like good fortune, Cheryl. That's awesome. Thanks, Marker Joe. Bought the goats. What? That's awesome. Thanks, T Valkyrie. We appreciate it. Enjoy building those goats at a much, much more affordable price than the current Lego animal goat piece. Does Joe know if you have the Disco Joker? Oh, yeah. Let me ask about those, Joe. I didn't look for those. Hold on one second. But I rode in C 130s, C 5s, and most infantry vehicles. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, Grumpy J. There's always new signs to the mystery of Grumpy J. Be, it, it won't be so fun if one day y'all did a live stream in the minifig graveyard and set graveyard. That'd be pretty cool. We could head down there one day. We'll see what we can do. I'm going to call the Lego doctor if you do, do have the next night's virus. Oh yes, hopefully I don't have that. Where did Joe go? Is Joe around? Oh, oh, Vogan, you actually probably know this. Oh, what's up? You know about DC minifigure parts and stuff? Awesome. A little bit? Yeah. Do you know the Joker from the Lego Batman movie from the end credits with, like, the gold and white yeah, outfit? The white and gold one. Do you think we have any of the parts from that figure, specifically the torso and the cape? Maybe, maybe not. Probably not. What do you think? We probably do. Probably do. Okay. Yeah, I can... Wait. Well, we got eight minutes. If you want to just take a quick glance, that'd be amazing. Yeah, if you're please. able to. So. Just the parts, the torso and the cape, if they're there. If they're not, it's not a big deal, but it's worth checking. Thank you. Oh, 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 hey, hey, don't beat up Grant. He's, he's good. So we're going to get demonetized for violence. Yeah, happening? exactly. Grant, Grant's important. You don't want to use that ladder. It was a smack of kindness. It was a smack yeah, of kindness? You're, you're pat me on the we're going to get demonetized. I'm going to go. Smack of kindness. <laughs> oh. Jerry Houston, hit. Hi, Chris. San Diego Comic Con minifigs. We've got those, Tom. Let me turn around and head back that way. As long as they've stopped goofing around. I like that Bucky's hat, Grant. Looks Thank good. You. <laughs> you always gotta find something cool in the outfits. Let's see. San Diego Comic Con figures. Got the Toy Fair Captain America, the first Captain America minifigure. You got Krang from Battle Damage. Oh, he has Battle Damage, he's not from Battle Damage. Uh, Shadow Leonard, super cool. He's very expensive too, reflects the uh, awesomeness of that figure. You got Barb from Stranger Things, Black Lightning, Spider Woman from San Diego Comic Con. She's our most expensive minifigure right now at $4,500. It's just insane. It's probably as much as my car is worth. Um, Bizarro Superman, Superman black costume. That's. I love that outfit on Superman. He looks so cool. You also got the uh, Cloud City Boba Fett here, too. Because he's basically on the level of a Comic-Con figure as far as rarity and price. So, very cool. Thanks for asking about that, Tom. You've got Kicks Mix. Hello, hello. Thank you for joining us. We've just got another five minutes of stream left. But we'll still walk around and answer questions and check out all the cool Lego stuff we got. Ha! Self-roast. Yeah, the, oh yes. Ha! Self-roast. Those are rare. Exactly, Zach. For sure. 
Yeah, we've got a few minutes left. What was one of the questions? Um, what's, oh, oh, there's Vogan. Let me see what Vogan is able to find. We'll check on those parts for you, Joe. Any news, Vogan? We don't have the parts, but it does look like we have one available. Okay, so we have that figure available online. One. One, yes. but no parts. No parts. Good to know. Thanks, Vogan. So, did you hear that, Joe? We've got one of those figures available, but we don't have any spare parts right now, so... So sorry. It's worth checking back, though. You never know. In a couple weeks, we might end up having one. We get stuff every single day. Yes, I think Madeline's idea with the graveyard and minifig graveyard and set graveyard would be really cool. We don't go down there very often. Any power miners vehicles? We don't have any power miners sets right now, but we do have a few rock raider sets and they're almost as cool. In fact, I think they're cooler because I grew up with those. So we got the uh, couple rock raiders down there. We do have pretty much all the power miners minifigures though. So all the rock monsters as well as all the Power Miners characters. And they're now online on our website. So all those in that Power Miners row, all the silver, blue, and Rock Raiders are all on our website. So definitely check out atlbrick.com. Jim Shark gave you bad news. Uh, what goats were you guys talking about? Oh, so the Lego goats are super expensive. They're like $150. So, we made a custom goat kit. Let me show you the goats that are expensive first. The goat there. There's two of them. They're both $150. Very expensive. But if you want to save some money, we have this cool brick built goat kit designed by Steven and myself. And for $10, you get three brick built goats. All in there with instructions. So much better deal you can get literally dozens of goats for the price of one lego animal goat it's very cool did you see boone langston from season one of the lego designer now yes super happy for him hope they enjoy the uh the amazing lifestyle of the lego designers over in denmark it should be really cool and uh hope them the best of success really really proud to see that also aaron from season one too he he got hired just a few months earlier so they like those Lego um, Lego Masters on Lego Designer positions at Lego HQ. If you are a Lego designer, do you have to live in Denmark? Absolutely, unfortunately. The, um, the Enfield, Connecticut headquarters in the United States is just for corporate, shipping, that sort of thing. Designing all happens in Denmark, and you have to move over there. And uh, yeah, so that's one of the downsides. A lot of people would prefer to stay in the United States, but uh, it's also pretty cool in Denmark. It's worth visiting, at least, for sure. Are the goats online? They should be now. Both the animal ones and the set ones. They should be on very soon. So when are you moving to Denmark? <laughs> Probably not for a while. I like it here in the, the good old US of A. And uh, I, I also enjoy my job here quite a bit, too. They make it worth my well. Let's see. Would you do it, Mark? Probably not. Um, it, uh, w one of the things I've heard about Lego designers is they, they get paid pretty well, but not like, not like the crazy amounts of money that you would think. They're, they're just kind of a, a design department of a very large company. So it's not like it, your, your reward is you get to work for the Lego company, the Lego group. It's not necessarily like you make millions of dollars. So, um, yeah, I'd rather enjoy all the benefits of living in the United States and Georgia. I like this place. I like the weather. So probably not. I probably wouldn't, even if they offered it to me. So. Going to call the Lego doctor so you can be cured of the next virus. Oh no! No, Will Lamb, I don't have it. I, I swear. I promise I don't have it. The home of Lego, Denmark. Lego Batman. We uh, went through Lego Batman a little bit, but we'll kind of scan through it as our final thing today. Luke, thanks for joining us. Can Joe do his special hair flip ability, please? He actually did it a little bit earlier, if you can scroll back. It's somewhere in the middle. He was showing off a Django Fett Slave 1 set, and he did the hair flip while wearing a hat on, and I have no idea how. Hello, hello, Jesse's Brick Galaxy. Thanks for joining us. We are on the last few minutes of the stream, but thanks for saying hi. We've got the built 
Batman sets as well as the Batman minifigures over here. The minifigures are all on our website. It's worth checking out. Got a few more tucked away in this case here. And we've got all the sets over here from DC and Batman. A couple retired ones, a couple ones still available. We used to have a ton of them. Now we just have this small section next to Marvel. Marvel's over there. But a lot of these are on our website, atlbrick.com, so definitely check those out. Thanks, Merc, and ABC for everything. Any Queen Amidala on stock? I'll ask really quick here. Oh. Excuse me, guys. Sorry. Joe, we got any Queen Amidala on stock? Maybe? Yes. Not at present. Double checking. Hey guys. Hi, yes, that was amusing. Just about to buy more Ninjago figures. Oh, yes. Yeah, thanks for showing me the 4K Spider Woman. <laughs> yes. So sad. So expensive. Thanks for the great live stream, Mark. Talk to everyone later. As soon as we get that information from Joe, we're going to scoot, guys. Excuse me, Bogan. We're out. No Queen Amadellas right now, but hopefully soon. Alrighty. Gotcha. We got parts in recently. We might be able to complete one. Okay. Well, on that, we're going to head out. Thank you guys so much. We sure appreciate you guys tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like, comment, and subscribe buttons. We sure appreciate communicating with you all. And we will see you all with a bunch of other videos coming out this week. Y'all take care. Have a great afternoon. Bye-bye, guys.